or most likely encroachment by Bracina on that faceoff dot. That's not the official term, but whatever. Kyle Laughlin picks one out of the air. He's gonna get hit, tripped up and hit hard by Jimmy Jensen. And he is staying down. Not Huntsville taking exception. Got a few scrums ensuing. I, he went in hard to the boards that looked pretty dangerous. I hope he's okay. As Knox Huntsville coming in. Doesn't look like we're gonna have any real fights ensue, but scrums nonetheless all over the ice. I have not seen too much movement. I'm not sure who that is, but that was a that was a dangerous play as the Huntsville player remains on the ice. I can see his legs moving a little bit. That's a, at least a good sign as the both trainers, one from our trainer here in Knoxville and the trainer from Huntsville attend to him. And the players give him some space, let the trainers do their job, get back to their benches. Corky is our, is our trainer as we call him. But he's actually a paramedic, so probably a good guy to have out there. Uh, he sees this kind of situation before. As we see some movement here, the fans start to cheer. That's good to see him get up on his knees. I'm still trying to determine who that is. I think it's number 14, Kyle Laughlin. Uh, looks like they're gonna give Jim Jensen a penalty for that hit. It was kind of a, a weird play as Jensen came in for the poke check and got his stick in there and tripped him up and as he tripped him, hit him into the boards. As, as Laughlin gets up, able to skate back to the bench on his own power, he's probably gonna be pretty sore tomorrow, but 